What's going on guys? How are y'all doing today? Um, so today's video is going to be on installing the 80 millimeter overkill throttle body as well as a ported intake manifold. Um, the throttle body I got it from overkill and the intake manifold I got it from Kenny Roberts. He's in the uh, fifth gen Camaro uh, performance group on Facebook and he does a lot of porting uh, exchanges for people whether it being if you have a sixth gen or a fifth gen um, and he'll buy a manifold for you uh he'll he'll buy one whatever one he finds he'll port it make sure it's in great condition port it send it to me then once i install the ported manifold that he sent me i'll send him back my stock one therefore it saves me a couple hundred dollars from buying one just fully ported without sending him my stock one back and then he can continue his business so then he could send another person a ported intake manifold from your stock one so it's a good win-win for both of us and you know just why not help each other out so we're gonna get right into the installation and enjoy the video. So this is the box I just got today. I just opened it, so that's all the wrapping. So this is the throttle body right here. As you can see, it's the 80 millimeter one. Uh, we'll compare, once I get the stock one out, we will compare it to this one just to see how much larger in person it really is. Uh, just put that down. And then this is the intake manifold. It's exactly the same, same exact one I have right now. It's just ported inside so can't really tell i'm not that familiar with how porting is done i know it's very difficult and there's like a special way to do it um but it is ported so more airflow and y'all can like google like more information about that i don't really know too much about it i just know it's gonna add more power that i need and this is the coupler for my cold air intake right here that i just took off already this is the motor uh, that's the cold air intake I have. It's on Amazon. I was testing it out. It's actually like a $60 uh, intake that I have on Amazon. You can go check it out on one of my videos. I did a review. Um, and this is the coupler that I had. And it had this that comes with it so that it could, you put this on the stock throttle body and then this would go over it. So then there's no space when you clamp it. So this actually fits the 80 millimeter. Some of y'all with KNN or uh, cold air inductions, your guys are going to have to buy a larger uh, coupler right here for the cold air intake for it to fit. Um, it's called a silicone elbow, elbow, elbow I believe. Um, it's going to be larger so it can fit on top of the 80, milli, 80 millimeter throttle body. I'm just fortunate enough that mine already fits, so I'm lucky I don't have to go and spend money and buy one. So let's get to it. So first things first, uh, we're going to have to take the stock throttle body off. So I just tested what size these uh, four bolts are going to be. There's going to be two right here and two right here. Got a 10 millimeter, fits right on. So I just got a little extension because if I didn't, it was gonna be rubbing against that right there. So right there. And let's just take off. Take off the full books. One of the helpful things are is having these magnetic trays. So you don't lose any bolts. Sticks right here, doesn't go anywhere. It's a magnet right there. So you don't lose any of your stuff. So let's get the rest, let's get the rest of these bolts out. So to get this guys off, um, so you're gonna wanna pull that red pin out like I just showed y'all. And with this on, right here, it's like a push down type of mechanism to release a clip. So all you wanna do is take your thumb right here push it down and literally just slide it off. And this is a stock throttle body right there. So we're gonna go ahead and compare it to the new one. And yeah, that is quite the difference. That's actually quite larger. Good, let's get that. So we're gonna get this out of the way. And next on the list is to take off the manifold. So that I believe might be the hardest part. So we're gonna get some bolts right here, some bolts out. So guys, these bolts right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in the back. Let me see if there's a seventh. And I don't think there is, we'll, we'll find out in a minute. Those are 13 millimeter bolts. So I have a 13 millimeter socket. That's one. That's two, that's three, 
That's four. That's five. And to get that out, I have to take off this extension. Finish it off with the drill. I have an old rag because these bolts are actually really, really hot because I was just driving the car. So take that one out as well. Let's pull them all out real quick. That, that, that one as well. That one will have to be done by hand. So we have to take the, we have to take off this connector right here. I do not know exactly what that is for, uh, but we do have a T T screw right here. Honestly, do not know the size on this. Could be a T10. That's that screw right there. All right, y'all. So a little progress update. All the 13 millimeter bolts. The one two, three, four, five, and six in the back are out. I cannot get that last one out currently because it goes up and touches this up here. So I will just pull it out with the manifold at an angle and it will come out. Uh, all that's left is this braided thing. I really do not know what this is that's connected here, but I'm trying to figure out how to take it out without breaking it. Um, I've taken out this, it's just held on by a screw. Let me show you what screw it is, it's this screw. And then I've taken out all these clips with these wires. They're connected into like these little holes right here in the manifold. And then I have this left and this black thing. So we're just gonna take out these two and then we should be, the manifold should be coming off. All right, y'all, so progress update. This is the stock throttle body. I mean, <laughs> sorry, this is the stock intake manifold. It is now completely off. And that is the stock throttle body right there. So, and new manifold. Right here is on. I just have to connect everything up and connect, or not connect, put all these new bolts in. Uh, just an FYI, this bolt right here is shorter than the one, two, three, the five bolts on top of the manifold right here. I had made a mistake by putting that short bolt. I thought they were all the same length. I had put that short bolt here and a long bolt there, tying everything down. And then this one wouldn't go down anymore. And I was just really, Wondering why, it turns out that's a shorter bolt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all these bolts back in their spots and tighten everything up. And after we, uh, I use the drill to do these, I don't use the drill to tighten them down all the way. It's just to like uh, reduce the effort by like 80%. So just gonna get a ratchet and just tighten them up in sort of a star pattern just like you would do a wheel. So recheck. Awesome. Well, that's done. You're gonna wanna go ahead and put these clips back in. You're gonna wanna put this PVC hose back in. So all that's left, for the manifold is to just plug in these things. I have this hose connected, this PVC hose connected. Oh, uh, let's see what else on this side we have. I'll have this to put back in, which will go back here into a hole. If I can just eyeball it, there we go. And this plugs in right here like that. And then there's the T screw that holds that down right there. Uh, this just goes in like this and you angle it and there's another bolt that goes in right here to hold it So let's just get these bolts real quick So let's get this one out of the way. This one was a 10 millimeter Like that so we'll come over the side put the bolt right through that like that Just like that that is tightened down now and we have that clip in. Now we just have to get the T-screw, which is this one right here. So this goes right there. And we're just gonna have to get a T-screwdriver and tighten it 
down like that, just not too tight because that's not really like a uh, moving part. So you don't really have to strip it that hard. It, it is now time to install the throttle body. So here is the uh, 80 millimeter throttle body. Just gonna set that down right here real quick. And provided our four bolts to go into the four places right here that just connect up right to the intake manifold. So what you're gonna do is just get a little uh, Allen wrench looking thing right here with a little socket for this to fit in. So just make that click in, put it on your socket, wrench like that, and then put it right on there. Like that. After all those four bolts were uh, torqued down, you're gonna wanna get the clip. Simply turn it like this and just put her right in there. That is in, and you just wanna secure it with the red clip that is on that clip. So that is the installation of that. So we have the manifold all bolted down, all the connectors with it. Then we also have the 80 millimeter throttle body with this plug right here for it. And now you're just gonna to wanna to get the elbow of your intake, whatever intake you do have, or if you have the stock intake, I don't know if it'll fit or not. You might just have to see if it would. And you're just gonna to wanna to take the clamps on each one and then fit that on there. So just tighten these down, not too much, you don't wanna break it. Like so, as well as right here. Just make sure it is sitting up on it. And since we're here, might as well just make sure all our other clamps are nice tight, nice and tight as well. Hopefully my drill can fit. My drill did fit. And let's make sure to our filter, it's all nice and tight. So everything is all buttoned up. So guys, I just pulled the car outside. This is it. Ported intake manifold by Kenny Roberts is now on. Everything is put all together, as well as the 80 millimeter throttle body by Overkill is now installed as well. Everything is put together. The intake is all hooked up. Everything is running perfectly. So the only things that I would go over is upon startup, the idle will be quite rough for about maybe 30 seconds at most. Mine was about maybe 20. Um, Kenny told me that it could, everybody, it's just a computer relearning um, a larger throttle body. That's really it. It's just not used to having that much air and just operating something like that because it's not designed for this. So it's an aftermarket product. The, that's why Will um, at Overkill's tune would help speed up the learning process. It could take up to 200 miles for everything to be uh, very, very smooth again. Um, but other than that, there has been no issues. And within startup, I even took it for a test drive. I feel like the more and more I'm driving it, the more it's smooth it's becoming. So overall, power is there. I'm just gonna be waiting for a retune by Will. He's gonna send me a tune soon, hopefully, and we will um, really extract as much power as we can out of this car. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great day, and please subscribe and thumbs up on the video. Thank you, guys.